takes many hours of saying something like this. And hi everybody, this is Mike. I am doing a fish project. It's a, actually it's a walking stick, but it's a fish. See the fish is eating uh, like a nail type deal. If you look at this side. See right there? This is like a nail that maybe went through like Jesus' hand. You know, like the fish, you know, go out into the world and catch fish and stuff. And then the nail went through. It's symbolic. But this is a walking stick. And it's going to be awesome. I'm going to put some detail in there, some eyes on there, like some lines through the fin. These are, this is actually the tail. It's going to be kind of cool. Hey, look at this. Hold on. I made a lightsaber. I have a piece of wood and printer ink. This is printer ink. And the printer ink uh, probably will come out unless if I put a clear coat on it, which I plan to do. It's pretty cool. It's a, it doubles up as a Billy Club. So after it's uh, got some clear coat on it, and you have this in your pocket or something and you pull it out and you got like a dog trying to attack you you can use it or somebody you know <laughs> and I make fishing lures and stuff like this so pretty soon you will see me show you how to make fishing lures uh, billy clubs you know the kind of cops I don't know I might do one with a, you know, that little extra handle where you go, pow, pow. <laughs> I don't promote violence, but but if you have to protect yourself, it's always there, you know. I might dye this. I might scratch this up and dye it more red. It's kind of come out. I put red on there, but it didn't stick very well. You got to scratch it up. They really get it to stick. You can't have like a smooth surface. Isn't that pretty cool? And then we got this. And then I did another one somewhere. Hold on. This one. It's just a plain black stick. It's really, it's really thick. It's one of my first ones, and I did a little grooves in it. So what do you think of that? It's a big walking stick. It's for probably a heavy person. This could really hurt someone. It's, it feels like a baseball bat if it was to hit you, you know? And then I got designs like this and I did one that actually looked like a bone on top. <laughs> it was pretty cool. So if you stay tuned, I will show you how to make one of these. You know, it's really easy. You know, you strip the strip the bark off. And these actually right here are made out of honeysuckle. Who would have thought like honeysuckle was this thick, you know? It's really thick. This is one of the thicker branches I have ever got though. And this is a thinner branch I got. And honeysuckle always has a hole up there. Sometimes that could be a pain in the butt. <laughs> But you can work around it, depending on the stick and how everything. But they become hard after a few days. Actually, after the I've never I've always cut during the first day, but they say you gotta be careful of it splitting, you know. So some people let it dry out and stuff. But I've never had a problem. Well, maybe a few times, but but never really a big problem. So stay tuned to more stuff from Mike. You'll see fishing lures, you'll see walking sticks, you'll see billy clubs, and more. Even birdhouses in the future. Let the forest be with you. <laughs> stay tuned, please subscribe, like a favorite, and peace out. Stay tuned for more stuff.